Hey, what's going on guys? Talk Norris City here, back for my predicted 11 slash preferred 11 ahead of this weekend's game against Liverpool. We've reverted back to the whiteboard. Uh, I just wanted a bit of a change and the whiteboard's kind of cool, although it does reflect horribly, so I apologise for that. But big game coming up this Saturday against Liverpool, 12.15 or 12.45 kickoff. It's the early kickoff. Um, I've done a similar video to this over on Redmen TV, so if at the end of this you want to go check that out, go and be my guest. So, in goal. Oh, no, it's not really that much tension. We know it is. It's Declan Rudd. Um, <laughs> Declan Rudd has been superb this season, been the bright spark in many games when there hasn't been many other bright sparks. I think this guy is like our future number one for sure. I think Declan Rudd is a brilliant goalkeeper and one that I'm very proud of. Um, in a right back, Ivo Pinto. Yes, I'm putting Ivo Pinto in there. I think Pinto... Look, we bought him in the off-season, he wasn't fit, but now he's had a full two weeks of training. He should be up to match fitness by now. If he isn't, I'd be worried. Um, I think Pinto, look, he might be on the bench, he might start, but I think if I was Alex Neal, I'd put him in there. I think he's probably, well, I haven't seen him play, so it'd be harsh to say he's better than Russell Martin, but I think he'd probably fit into this squad better than Russell Martin, and I'd say he's better than Whitaker. But if he doesn't start... I kind of understand it, but I'm slightly sick and tired of watching Russell Martin make the same mistakes week in, week out now. Um, in at centre-back, Ryan Bennett. Um, I think he's probably been our standout defender of this year, I think. He hasn't made too many mistakes, none that I can think of off the top of my head. And he's been really decent, so I'm sticking Ryan Bennett in there. Next to him, Tim Close. Yes, I think Close will start this weekend. He's our record sign, and you would have thought he'd throw him straight in there. But I have dropped Basong out, mainly because Tim Close is a left-sided player. He likes using his left foot, which kind of means Basong's going to have to be sacrificed because it would be a bit kind of left foot orientated if it's Basong alongside Close. I think Basong needs a rest as well. He played so much football. He's hardly a, a young player. So I think it'd be fair to maybe drop Basong out for this week and just see how it goes. Maybe then if it doesn't go so well, you drop Bennett out, you put Close in there. Um, but I would have thought close now, if he's as good as we've been made out to think he is, he'd be in there for the rest of the season. And then at left back, this might cause a bit of controversy. I've gone with Robbie Brady. Um, look, I love Robbie Brady. I think he's a great player, but he's only scored one goal this season and he's only got one assist. For me, you, you kind of want to be seeing better returns. And I, th I still think he's a better left back. Loads and loads of people last week when we played Bournemouth were saying... Brady's out of position again. Brady's out of position again. For me, if you're chopping and changing him between left midfield and left back week in, week out, of course he's got to be out of position because he, he, he's, he's slightly confused where he wants to play and he's more of a left wing back. The same with Pinto. I fully expect to see these guys bombing forwards um, and when sort of we're on the attack, Bennett and Close just to drop a bit wider and the midfield just to drop in a little bit deeper. That's what I expect to be seeing this weekend. Um, but I think Brady's a better left back there's not much difference between him and left wing, but I just think it works better down the left uh, down the left with Brady there because I love Matty Jarvis and I think he's a better player than than Olsen in that position. I just love Matty Jarvis' directness. I think his play and the way he plays is a big part of our game, and he looks better when he's in the. We look better when he's um, when he's in the team. I think he's one of the standout players against Bournemouth last week in a team uh, that didn't perform too well. Next to him, Alex Tete, alongside him, Johnny Howson. We need a solid midfield pair in this week. Liverpool like to play. They rarely play with like an out and out strike. I mean, you can have Banteke in there, but you've got um, Ings who's injured. Uh, you've got Sturridge who's injured. Um, who's their youngster? Origi, I think he's injured as well. So it's either Benteke or it's normally like a front three of like Firmino, Lalana, um, who else is there? Coutinho, players like that. I think Coutinho's injured though. So what you need to be seeing in here is Tete dropping deep when we go forwards and when Close and Bennett sort of shift a bit out a bit wider. And you need Housen in this central position, mainly because he's great going forwards, which will give us something on the counter. But he's also great defensively as well. Housen, I think, is one of my most well-rounded midfielders. And I want to see him play in a central position because I don't like it when he's shifted out wide. He's not a winger. He's not quick enough to be a winger. Yes, he scored a few goals from that position this season, but he doesn't look as effective from that area. And I don't think he contributes to the team as much. But... Another controversial one, I'm staying with Nathan Redmond in there. I think if we want to beat Liverpool this weekend, we're going to need to play a, not a fully counter-attacking style of football. I think we need to hold possession when we can, 
But I just think Nathan Redmond adds so much to the game. Yes, he wasn't great against Bournemouth. And I'm, to be honest, I'm sick and tired of people getting on Redmond's back because, yes, he's still young and I know he needs to develop. I've talked about it in previous videos. I just think Redmond is a kind of player, a Premier League winger, who, yes, might not create tons of chances in a game, but he'll do something in a game. And that something could turn the game on his head. Redmond, I still think, is one of our best players. And for me, he needs to go in there. Naismith. Yes, my friends, Naismith I've put in the team. I really want to see Naismith score against Liverpool. Obviously, the Liverpool fans hate him because of the Everton links. But didn't like Houlihan uh, in against Bournemouth. Thought, thought he was very ineffective. Don't think he contributed much to the team. Very harsh. I love Houlihan. I know. But I don't think Houlihan's been that effective for the past maybe like two months. I can't think of him adding too much to the game in, 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 previous, in previous weeks. And I think that's mainly because he's been playing a lot of football. Uh, he's got to be tired. He's not young, Wes Houlihan. He's like a wine. He matures with age. But I think Naismith needs to make his debut. The fans are going to be excited. The same with Close. The same with Pinto. If you throw three new names into a team, yes, it might uh, contribute to a lack of team cohesion, but the fans are going to be pumped. I know I'm going to be pumped, put it that way. And then up front, Di Mercy and Bacani. Um, I still think he's our best striker. He missed a couple of chances last week and it sort of said to me, yeah, this guy isn't the top class striker. I think he's our best striker. I think he'll still score goals this season. I still think we need a new striker though because I would have thought Hooper, Lafferty and of course Graben's already gone. So we're pretty much going to be left with Justin Bacani and Jerome at that rate. But I think this is a good team and I'm feeling really confident for this Liverpool game. How do we attack? Well, I think we've been way too narrow in previous weeks, mainly because we haven't been playing out without wingers. We try to improve that against Bournemouth, but I just think get the ball out to these guys and let them do the business because when you give it to them guys, Pinto can bomb on, Brady can bomb on. You've suddenly got overlapping runs in here and in there and it just creates such a more dynamic, exciting game than trying to thread it through the middle and even if you play down the wings you can cut it into Naismith who can then find them Bacani and, and try and link up with Tete and Housen. I just think we need a bit more width in this game and that's why I've put Redmond and Jarvis in there. Anyway let me know what you guys think of that team. Would you change anyone? What would your starting 11 be? Be sure to let me know in the comment section below. Also tons and tons of collaboration content this week with the Redmen TV so be sure to check that out. There's some really good stuff uh, that I've made with them guys so please feel free to check that out and if you're new from the Redmen TV welcome Welcome to the Talk Norwich City journey. I hope you enjoyed the game on Saturday and please feel free to subscribe and like the video. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you very soon. Peace out.